Governor of Ogun State, Takbo Abiodun, has ordered the security agencies in the state to investigate the clash between his men and farmers in the Yawe North area of the state. The governor gave the directive in a statement issued by its chief press secretary, Kule, at the end of the state security council meeting held in Abiokuta on Saturday. Violent had erupted in Iwa, a community in the Yahweh North local government area, following the visit of Yoruba activists Sunday a day or more, also known as Sunday Igbo, to the area. In the statement, Abiodun said he had already set up a special task force that would be deployed to all areas of the state, prone to headers and uh, farmers' conflict to maintain peace and quickly respond to any form of violence or crimes. The statement raised, The government is immediately setting up a joint security patrol team task force involving all security agencies in the state to not only deal with the situation but to also nip in the board any threats, violence or criminality. Opiado also directed that those behind the recent violence in Igwa in the Yahweh North local government area of the state should be brought to justice. We will not condone any act of criminality in the state no matter what is involved. The police and other security agencies have been directed to go after the perpetrators of these hats and bring them to book. We will not allow anybody to dispute the peace in Ogun State and anyone who, who tries to test our re, uh, resolve to maintain peace in our state still have herself or himself to blame. While commiserating with the family of the deceased, Abiodo also sympathized with those who lost their farmlands as well as cows during the unfortunate incident. He said our state is known for being a, a heaven of peace, security and uh, harmonious, harmonious relationship among people of different ethnic groups, whether citizens or settlers who consider the state their home. This is a long and cherished tradition that we are proud of and which this administration is committed to sustaining. We therefore condemn in strong terms the recent unfortunate violence by certain elements by wiping up and capitalizing on devices ethnic sentiments to perpetrate an, an agenda that is anemica to public security and safety. Our ass goes out to the family of the deceased and those who lost their properties in the needless violence. The governor had also convened an expensive stakeholders meeting to hold next week involving farmers and S-men and others to bring about peace. He conjoined residents of the state to go about their activities while being uh, security conscious. This administration is determined to end this unfortunate circle of violence and we are hopeful that the all-inclusive stakeholders meeting will identify specify, specify and uh, practical inactive that we achieve the desired end. In the meantime, all residents of the state are enjoined to continue to go about their lawful businesses and report any strange movement or threat to peace in their neighborhood to the security agencies who have been put on red alert to respond swiftly and act uh, quickly. You see, I I don't I don't understand uh, setting up investigation panel in in a in a case like this. We are talking about a matter of urgency. Your people are dying. Your people are losing their properties every day by day. You are talking about setting up investigation panel to, to investigate what? That the Fulani men are not actually killing people in your area or they are not raping women or they are not kidnapping for ransom. What, what, what are they trying to investigate or what they want to investigate? Honestly, these people have actually failed, you know, their people that voted them in there because fear of their principle being uh, 
uh, uh, calling them bad boy and all that this is really very very disheartening you know to hear from a sitting governor you want to investigate an issue why your people are dying may god have mercy on us all right someone said there uh, i am okay someone said there uh, incredible what sitting what sitting in the hair condition office could do to a servant leader who is supposed to be on the feet just wondered if they are power drunk and insensitive rulers we are caused with their inertions and time buying gestures cost lives go so how long will this investigation you know before reports until another crisis rock the state in another part of the state well the blood of any victim in your hand hangs true we know your conscience is sealed and Kylos, Carlos. Okay, someone said they yeah, keep investigating or keep selling your kinsmen for for bread. Okay, someone said yeah, it is not a uh, farmer's headers clash. It is a uh, full and is killing, raping, and uh, kidnapping farmers because no headers got no no headers uh, go meet farmers normally get that last last statement. Okay, this someone said yeah, this one we just sit down there and other investigation like as i said before that these people they are now ready to help us and they're not, they're not going to do anything because to them they don't want to offend their principal people that voted you in office they are being killed every day by day the the action the best action you feel that you can take is just to to set up investigation whatever why people are dying every day by day God Almighty will not forgive all these, our bad leaders. So hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Leave your opinion below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. Bye for now.